Well, hello, YouTubers. I am Jen John Pierre, and I am your go to girl for all things regular, regular family, fashion, fun, and motherhood. So, today we are doing Vlogmas. I don't even know what number it is because I had to take a little break. I really wanted to do 24 videos in 24 days, but alas, that thing that I said, the whole new mother thing, yeah, that got in the way, as well as my 9 to 5 my blogs, campaigns I had, but regardless, those are excuses, those are reasons, we're done. We are in today, and today, this video is all about what is in my camera gear. I'm going to give you a sneak peek of everything that I use or don't use, and why I don't use it, and I'm gonna show you examples of when I use those particular items. So, enough of that, let's start with the intro. <laughs> All right, we are back and we are gonna chat all about my camera gear and what I use to make and create my content. So as you know, I have been blogging for about 10 years. Well, you might not have known. For those of you who did not know, I've been blogging for a little over 10 years and I started as Calm Coco. Nobody could pronounce it correctly and I wanted to do something that had my name. I knew I was going to get married and I was going to probably change my name and I wanted something to honor my father. Uh, the person that I consider my father. Anyway, <laughs> just a little shade, a little shade there. Uh, so I am jenjompierre.com. You can find all the links in the description. But since I'm using this as a, a pointer right now, let's start with this. This is my Joby tripod and it is a gorilla pod which means it has like all these joints right here so you can actually put it in so many different ways. Um, I use this not as much as I probably should. I have been using it now more for vlogging. So my vlogging channel is actually what I'm recording on right now. I probably should have used like one of my other DSLRs, but I'm not because I like this. It's easy. It's quick. It goes to my phone. Anyway, Joby Gorillapod link will be in description. I use this a lot for like handheld and I also like put it on the ground or if I'm doing something a little bit more elaborate, then I can... Um, have it go around like a tree branch or whatever but the chances of me using a tree branch are slim to none because I have a fear of my stuff breaking even though I have insurance on it I still have a fear of it breaking so I am still very conservative when it comes to certain things so I use this a lot for like handheld I believe this was maybe like $50 but it is a good investment to have what I love a lot about it yeah there it goes is you can literally have your camera be in any angle that you want. And then I also like the level on it. So this is the, the Joby Gorilla Pod. Love it. That's number one. That's in my camera bag. Number two, since it's accessible, is something that I just received or I just got for myself. And that is the um, Tamron 24 to 70. It's a 2.8. It's not the new new. Uh, this I bought used and it was like $600 used. So, oh my gosh. Y'all, I gotta stop this because I gotta show y'all this deer just coming up on my... Yo, he's hiding behind the... Dang it. Come on, deer. So people can see. He's literally behind... Wait, where did he go? That fast? Oh, there he is. My bad. Ooh, this is hard to get. Can y'all see him? Can you see him? Oh, this is like really hard to focus. Yeah, that's a deer. Oh, there it goes. I think you can see it better there. Yeah. Do you see it? Wow. Okay, let's start this again. Okay, we are back. That deer is still there too, but sorry, I had to interrupt because I thought that was really cool. We're back and we're talking about our my Tamron lens. It's a 24-70 It is, I bought it used off of eBay. I got it in like two days. The reason that I wanted to add this to my kit was one, because I updated, he's all up in my yard. I wanted to put some vegetables out there for him, but oh, Bambi. Anyway. I'm so easily distracted. Let's try this again. So the reason that I wanted to add this to my kit was one, because I just 
had purchased my first full frame camera i wanted the 5d mark IV so bad for so long and i finally saved up all the money and i purchased it and i was so proud of myself um but then i realized a lot of my lenses just didn't really work with it um, i'd never had a 24 70 obviously but i needed something that was going to be just as good as that camera to deliver the most optimal images so i purchased this one after a whole bunch of research there are newer ones but i figured i would try out with this and it fit my budget at the time that's the biggest thing i say when you are uh, buying new gear buy what fits your budget and then grow or if you really want to have like that strong kit then save 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 don't worry about what you have right now save 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 get what you want and then you're going to have exactly what you want and your kit is going to be exactly what you want how many times do i say that so 2470 link will be below so you can see that um and these are some of the images that i have that jermaine and i have produced using this particular lens so we've got next in my my kit oof, let me just take the well we'll just keep it on there so i have my canon 5d my canon 5d mark 4 which is a full frame camera which means that it's not going to crop the image it's not going to crop the lens so the 50 millimeter millimeter is actually going to be a 50 millimeter on this while the 50 millimeter on my previous camera was i believe more of a 35 millimeter so you you had to do a lot more like um it, it was just a mess anyway <laughs> uh so my canon 5d mark 4 this runs about I believe it's $24 or $2,500 retail. I purchased it off of Tech for Less. Brand new, but they did offer uh, deals. So I was excited for that. And this bad boy has been like my dream camera since I got it. I just believe that it has the most crisp photos. Um, it does have a learning curve though. So if you're a beginner, like this is probably not the one that you want to start with, but I love it. What I had to get used to though, is it's just an LCD screen. It doesn't have the, um, articulating screen, which I had on my ADD, which was my previous camera. Um, but again, love this bad boy. And I take pretty much all my pictures now on, um, this bad boy right here. So here's some pictures of Tegan. I have taken using this. I just love that one and this one so all from here love 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 then we're gonna go straight to I just purchased this flash right here it's the Godox and what I did is I, I have a ton of flashes um, one thing you're gonna learn is that I love buying camera and tech gear I don't have them. I mean, I have a lot of clothes. I don't buy a lot of clothes, but I do love me some tech gear. But anyway, the Godox, I did a Google search and I said, hey, what are some great inexpensive flashes for the Canon 5D Mark IV? And this one had was ranked really high. Obviously, one day I will get a Canon Speedlight, but I don't shoot enough for me to invest in that $500, $600 lens. So this one was perfect. Um, again, the, Koda, the Godox and this one... Uh, I purchased for I think it was like 130 or 140 and I got this on eBay I believe it was eBay yep eBay and then when I was shooting with um or when I was shooting at the hotel and Tina I used her uh flash which was really good she has a newer newer not a newer one but the brand newer and i have a newer too and I, I just it wasn't working but she has the upgraded version and she had this thing on it and i used it and uh, the light was just like whoo, glowing and expanded and everything was lit up and there was no real weird harsh shadows and i was like i need it so that day that day i went on amazon i purchased this and it was at my house that night so I love that about Amazon, but I also hate it because I feel as if they're probably um, overworking their employees to offer us that service. But that is not this 
this episode. So this actually is just a magnet. It's called a mag magpod and link will be in description. So you have to purchase this separately. It's just like a little holder that goes over just your regular flash. And then this just yep right there on it it's a magnet this together was about 60 or 70 dollars but it has been so worth it so i'm going to show you some pictures that i took without this on there and then pictures that i took once i put this on there and this is the difference i don't know if you guys can see it but i can see it and i love it and now i have a lot more um confidence in shooting with a flash because of this and because of this flash the other one was so unreliable oh also what i really love about this flash that um i didn't have in my previous ones i had the young low and i had the newer is i had to use uh, AA batteries and this one has its own lithium battery that i can recharge and i just think that's clutch for me except for obviously when i was at the hotel and i forgot the charger for this battery but Okay, you live and you learn. So camera, flash, magpod, instrumental in getting me some really crisp, well-lit images. So that's something that's in my, my camera bag. Next in my camera bag, I have, whoops, my, my old DSLR. I'm really bad about, uh, you know, selling old things because I'm like, eh, if something breaks, I really want to be able to still have it. So this is the Canon ADD, which I highly recommend. I love this. The only thing I didn't like was the fact that it was not full frame and I was ready to upgrade it to something a little bit more professional. This is what I do love about it is I loved this articulating uh, screen, um, LCD screen, so I can do it in different ways because this was key and clutch and why is my battery dying when I just saw that I had a new battery this was clutch and taking self portraits hold on I'll be back okay so I am back and using my cell phone I was going to use my DSLR but then I was like I don't feel like it <laughs> so uh, luckily I'm right by a window so you're gonna get decent quality uh, anyway, so before I attach this to the tripod, I wanted to speak quickly on this, which is part of my camera gear. I have several of these, not necessarily all like this, some of just like a spring clamp, but this is to attach my cell phone, this right here, to my tripod as easily as possible. So I can do it like this, oops, like this, and then my cell phone goes right in here and that would be in landscape format. And then I can also, let me see if I can do this with one hand. Ooh, ooh, yeah. Y'all about to get the, uh, ooh, okay. <laughs> this is so ghetto. Oh, I don't like using that at all. This is just so not professional, but so then my camera go, or my phone goes right in here and then it would be landscape. And then if I want it to be where it is vertical, and you move it to here and then you stick your camera here. So love this. I have about four of them and I have like one in my car. I just carry them everywhere. Also, you can just use it as a tabletop holder right there. If you need to take like some quick self portraits on your phone or watch something, it's easy. It's simple. It's like $8 on Amazon, or you can receive them when you purchase tripods. Um, I will say I just got another <laughs> tripod for my uh, cell phone and it did come with a different type which I'm actually kind of liking more it's just this piece right here and it's a spring clamp and it works even with my cell phone case on so let me go down get that and I'm going to show that to you because I think that's important all right we are back ladies and gentlemen if there are any gentlemen who are even watching my channel but this is the other tripod that i am loving i purchased it off of amazon as well i have two of them it's the u i think it's pronounced ub size and why i mean it's just a tripod it's nothing spectacular but i like it for my cell phone just because it's more like a selfie tripod so this is the base instead of the base coming up from the top and taking a lot more space so i find that i can put this in snugger areas and then this is the little clamp i was telling you for the cell phone holder that i'm really digging and my big old case actually fits in this and it's just so much easier and then this one has like a 
a different kind of like ball head. So, oops, that's taking it off. I'm still learning it. Uh, so this back button right here, you can have it go. So your phone is landscape. And then if you want it this way, then boom, your phone is in uh, portrait mode. So I like this. This costs about $20. Link will be in description. And also, please do remember that my links, some of my link, links are affiliate links. So I do earn a small percentage and that helps Tegan's College Fund. Literally, I'm taking almost all of that money and I put them in to a savings account for her. So when I say that, I do really mean that. Like it's going towards Tegan, um, not like my Balenciaga fund. Not that I have one because I purchased one. And if you haven't seen that video, go ahead, link in description, you can see that video. But the next thing that is in my camera bag or my content creating kit, because I do love to do different things, is the DJI Osmo 4. If you follow me on Instagram stories, which you really should because that's where I drop pretty much anything that I'm wearing or anything new that I found, even if I haven't purchased it yet, but it would be cool for you. So when I found out about this, I put it instantly on Instagram stories and I was just shocked at how many people were really interested in it and who purchased it. I earn a very, very small commission on every sale. Like I sold, I think about 18 of them and I made $18. So I make about a dollar a sale on this $149 uh, object. So please don't think that like I'm pushing it out or anything like that because I'm not. And I shouldn't have to say that, but of course there's always a disclaimer. Anyway, this is a phone gimbal, um, which I was like, I'm not a video person. Like, what do I need that for? But this has been so good at just making everything very stable and my, my footage, like walking footage, just looks so much better than handheld. But what I really like about this bad boy is the fact that you can do the little clone photos that everyone likes, like these clone photos. And I just make it right here. So it'll say, stand right here. I go, I stand there take the photo and then it'll move, tell me where to stand. And then it just stitches it together. So it makes it easier instead of me doing it in post-processing. So that's one thing that I like about this. I also love the story mode on this because you can create really cool short uh, videos on this with just the app that comes with this. It puts the music in there. It puts cool effects. All you have to do is just act. So and this is so simple it's just a magnet so i would just clamp my cell phone right here and it goes right on here and you just um line it up and then you are good to go it's got like the joystick it's very simple um, and easy to use for a beginner and i am very much a beginner when it comes to gimbals and all that jazz so link will be in description below on how you can purchase this. So that's something else that's in my camera bag. This DOP phone mount is probably what I use the absolute most next to obviously my cell phone and my vlogging camera, which I will show in just a minute. This is the DOP phone mount and I have pushed these babies out on Instagram stories just because I think it's just the coolest thing. I purchased about five of them myself so that way I have them when they break or if they stop selling them, which I know they have stopped pushing them out for 2020 because they have a new product that's coming out. And um, so you have to wait to purchase it. I believe they have a couple left online, but I will put the link in the description below. I don't earn a commission or anything on this anymore. So the link is just a straight link for you to get it. But so this is for the phone. I wish I could show you, but it just mounts right to, you know, your computer screen, let's see, uh, computer screen, or even the window. Let me show you how it, it does it on the computer screen. So it's a, it's a suction and you would just, Oops, twist it and it goes right on the screen or whatever and then you can either use their clip holder that they have in the premium dot kit or if you have any pop socket on your uh, cell phone you just stick it and your phone just stays right there and you can do your things or you can watch tv um it's just this has been so handy dandy and I believe it's like $20. It's on kit. So that is 
the DOP phone holder, phone mount that I am absolutely digging. Okay, I think I've gotten through everything. Oh, and then obviously I have some other things in my kit. Um, I have some other lenses that I really don't use much. So the lenses that I use the most are my 2470 that I showed you before, my 50 millimeter, 50 millimeter, and that one goes to 1.4. And if you don't know what those numbers mean, maybe I'll do like a quick photography for beginners. But the 1.4 is the aperture, and that is um, uh, how wide the lens opens. So when you see that nice background blur, that's usually because they have a lower aperture, so like a 1.4. So whenever I get a prime lens, which means a lens that doesn't zoom in and out, then I always look for uh, something in the 1.4 to 1.8 range. It, typically those are more expensive as well uh, because you have more range. This one's a 2.8, so you're not going to get that much blur unless I have it at 70 and I'm, you know, uh, one thing is in the foreground and the other is like, <sighs> we're not even gonna get into it, <laughs> get into it. So last thing that I wanna show in my camera kit, I wanna make sure, last thing, is this right here, which is the Canon G7X Mark II. And this is my vlog, my vlogging, my vlogging camera, as well as something that I've been using lately for my Instagram stories, because I just think it's so crisp for a point and shoot, basically. Um, it gives me a lot of uh, background blur, what we were talking about before. It is a 1.8, so you get a whole bunch of you right there, crisp, and then the background's all creamy and blurry and beautiful. I love this camera, love this camera, love this camera. It's a workhorse. One day I will get myself a Sony, but for now, this is my bad boy, and I love her. Uh, I think she retails for about 600, six to 800, I'm not sure. I know the Mark III did come out, but I've heard just terrible things about it. So if you're gonna get it, get the G7X Mark II. This, I love this thing, um, but she's charging right now. And one thing that I just learned is I'm going to buy another battery for her because I've been using her so much that the battery is just not lasting. So these are the things that are in my camera bag. These are the things that help me with content creation. So thank you so much for tuning in. Again, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And thank you for joining my YouTube community. Vlogmas, I don't even know what number this is. I will find it out once I go through my channel. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for tomorrow's video.